everyone myself dr sagar push and you are watching doctor's desk so in this video we're going to discuss some important points regarding the upsc cms 2020 interview which you all should know uh, before going for your interview and uh, i also going to share my interview experiences and uh, what all questions they had asked me and uh, about the also the panel so hope all these things uh, which going to which i going to discuss in this video will help you during your interview so for, firstly all the best for our interview and so let start the video now So total 1,894 candidates has been asked to come for the interview, and uh, interview will start from 17th of April and it ends on uh, 24th of May. Uh, there will be two sessions of the interview daily. Morning session start from the 9 a.m. and afternoon session start from the 1 p.m. Uh, UPSC had also asked uh, the following documents uh, which you have to carry with you during the interview. They they will verify the documents. So all those documents which they had asked. you have to carry with you in uh, that photocopy also and the original also original they will verify and photocopy they will you have to submit to the upsc if you lack any documents which they had asked you need you will be put in the provisional uh, list and uh, for that you will get 6 month time to submit that uh, original uh, photocopy of that documents and you have to get verified the original document so you you will, they, they will give you 6 months in which they, you have to get uh, verify from uh, from upsc after after get, getting verification uh, you will get clearance certificate from upsc which you have to publish sorry which you have to give to your respective cadre after the cadre allotment the respective cadre will ask for the clearance certificate and uh, during your appointment, appointment letter you have to submit that clearance certificate to the respective cadre so all these are the important points you should know before going for the interview friends <music> so uh, let me tell you uh, they will give you the sleeper or second class mail uh, amount from your uh, place of residence which you had uh, filled in the uh, detailed application form or the application form to the place of the interview that that the distance they'll give you if you are not res residing in uh, in your uh, place of residence which you had given you the application form uh, if you are uh, residing someone else due to the job if you are working in the private uh, private hospital you have to get certificate from the private hospital that you are working there and if you are working in some government institute you have to get certificate from the head of the government that you are working there and uh, the distance is more from the the distance between that place where you, where you are working to the place of the interview is more from the normal uh, your residence from the interview place if it is more then you have to publish, uh, produce this certificates then you will get the uh, full amount and the commission contribution towards the traveling expenses will be paid in cash on the spot keep this in mind and when the candidate come for the interview uh, you you will get uh, the cash in the spot but uh, if your candidature is provisional they will not give you the traveling uh, traveling allowance so all these things you have to keep in mind while going for the interview so i, have, I hope i have told some important fund which you have to keep it so now i will share my interview uh, experience and also the questions they had asked uh, about the panels and also about the panels Uh, I got my morning session interview time, and in my panel, four people was there. Uh, that is uh, one IS officer and other three professors of the medical colleges. That is from the medicine, surgery, and gynec department. So I was lucky in that I got all final year uh, department people there. Many had got PSM and uh, FM professors also, and their uh, interview uh, went terribly bad because they had asked about various programs and IPC sections and many other questions from the forensic medicine. So I was lucky in that case. My interview went for around 45 minutes. Mainly IS guy had asked questions, and uh, he tried to just he, he always tried to ask uh, check your common sense. And he had majority of marks, uh, so you need to impress him. That uh, then only you will get more marks. so firstly I, he asked me uh, that are you preparing for the neat pg exam i told yes sir then he told uh, you all will prepare for the neat pg exam and then settle in the big cities then who will take care of the small cities and villages i told uh, sir government has to provide proper facilities and proper security to the doctors and form some some rules regarding this then he told me okay then i'll give you a situation uh, you are health minister of india and what all changes you will make and then i told sir firstly i'll provide uh, all the facilities Uh, which uh, the doctors want and the proper security to the doctors working in small cities and villages then he asked me do you think uh, by providing just uh, the facilities and security doctor will stay in small cities and villages i told for that sir government has to make some uniform rules in the whole india not in just one or two states 
then I told what uh, rules you'll make. Then I told sir, uh, all the people who are just finishing the MBBS exam, they had to do one year compulsory service in villages. Uh, then only they, they can appear in the NEET PG exam. And this rule should be uh, uniform. Should be uniform in all over India. Not like that some state will give two year bond, some state will give three year, one year. There should be only one year bond, and it should be uniform in all over India. Then he told nice, nice idea. Uh, we all can think of these changes uh, and then he asked me about some few uh, health programs and then asked that uh, these health programs uh, the government of india are uh, making but the, all these health programs are not uh, able to reach to the uh, general people what all the regions uh, are there then i answered all the pro uh, some uh, basic reasons about the government and then uh, in between these questions uh, his questions after the other professor who all are sitting there for the different departments had asked their respective department questions and uh, mainly they are they had asked about the emergency uh, situations like in the gynec or in the surgery department or related to the medicine department and mainly uh, they had asked what all uh, procedures i got got uh, during my i got chance to do uh, during my inter internship periods so in this you have to take care of that whatever you have did during your internship just that thing you have to share don't you have to say um, hi-fi things that you did this and, and that because uh, they all people are smarter than you and they they just sit, sit sitting there for checking your common sense and uh, uh, what all uh, you are going to say to them so keep all these things in mind whatever you did you have to say that thing only so uh, then again uh, uh, in between that again i as officer asked me to share my life changing experiences which i uh, which i should share with everyone proudly then i shared two three incidences with, with them and they all appreciated me in the last i as officer asked me that if anything i want to point out uh, about them that uh, and i want to give some advice to them regarding how to take interview and all uh, then i told uh, sir you all are more senior and more experienced than me how can i give suggestions uh, to you and point out your mistakes and, uh, after that uh, they all appreciated me and uh, in the last i just want to tell you one thing always smile during interview even if you don't know the answer just say sorry sir and then you'll uh, then they will ask uh, some other questions don't say uh, don't show uh, nervous faces to them uh, this will fetch you negative marks and always say true incidences and true things with them don't lie to them because they are more smarter than you and try to impress is officer more because he have more marks and uh, he'll if you impress him you'll get more marks so think about this so i hope all those points which you had to, you have to know before going to the interview i had shared with you and my interview experience i had shared with you all these things will going to help you during your interview if you have any doubt regarding your, your interview you can directly message me on my pages insta facebook and uh, telegram or you can put your questions in the comment section i'll try my best to answer all uh, all of you uh, all, all the questions you you had uh, you you're going to ask me uh, i'll try my best to answer all those questions and uh, about the interview also what, what all procedure you have to uh, go through while entering into the upsc office and all i had already uploaded video you can go and watch that uh, interview playlist uh, you'll uh, get idea about this so hope uh, you have all have enjoyed this video so all the best for your interview and thank you and thanks a lot.